police chase is underway. We are watching a Dallas police vehicle try to get this car to pull over. This is happening right in the Forest and Greenville area. We understand that right now they are traveling southbound on Forest Lane. We've been watching this for a couple of minutes now. This is a live picture you're watching from Chopper 5. This is the car that police are following. It looks like a white Dodge Charger going at a fairly high rate of speed here. This is. Um, Near the area of Forest and Greenville in North Dallas. And again, we are watching as police try to get this car to pull over. The car is going very rapidly right now, traveling through intersections, making some dangerous turns, and we do see other traffic in the area as police try to get this car to pull over. A live picture from Chopper 5 going in and out a little bit, but here's a wider look as this car is now getting onto the highway there. This is LBJ, LBJ near Greenville. And it would appear to me that the driver is headed east on LBJ. So this chase has now moved on to the interstate at this hour. Once again, if you're just joining us, this is a live police chase you're watching. Dallas police chasing this white Dodge Charger. And you see that car is going very fast, tra uh, passing by all of the other that are going at a regular highway speed there. Um, again, we're trying to figure out exactly why police are trying to pull this car over, but we understand it has been going on for quite a few minutes, and we watched it. Chopper 5 has been above it. You see this car traveling onto the shoulder of that highway. Uh, this is LBJ Freeway. Again, that white charger being chased by police and driving at a very dangerous rate of speed there, passing all the other traffic on the highway. We have been able to confirm, Christy, from the chopper that this is eastbound LBJ. Once again, this is near the area of Greenville. So this is the north Dallas area, the 635 LBJ, this car racing down the freeway. You can see how much faster this vehicle is moving than the, the other traffic, just weaving in and out of all these cars here. And we've seen it uh, travel onto the shoulder to get around these cars. What we're trying to figure out is exactly why this car and why that driver is fleeing from police. But right now, you do see the police helicopter there flying above the oh. scene. Oh, just really dangerous situations as this car weaves in and out. Once again, on the shoulder there, uh, driving past the traffic on eastbound LBJ. Police have not yet been able to get ahead of this car to block that traffic. The car now on the shoulder at the best of times. This is a very congested stretch of highway. Now the car exiting the highway. I'm not sure the exit that we're looking at here, but you see him uh, kind of lose control mm -hmm. there as he gets off the highway. If Make anyone in the booth has any idea what exit that was, uh, Plano Road. Okay, that's what we're looking at. He just exited Plano Road. And just a warning, our, our shot is going in and out, but Chopper 5 is live above this chase right now. That car just got off LBJ Freeway at Plano Road. Now it appears to be going into uh, more of a slower traffic area, a residential area. We, have, we can't see police from this vantage point, right. but we know that they are uh, behind this uh, to a certain extent. And this is really scary because, as you can see here, this person is now in a residential area and they're going at a high rate of speed. There you see police officers in pursuit, another chopper. They're passing near our chopper, and this driver. Back onto a, 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 a traffic, a, 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 a road, major, a major road, road, yeah. Uh, a two lane road there, uh, and again, speeding up again. Still with police in pursuit. And again, police have not been able to get ahead of this driver at this point. It's difficult to predict where he's going. Just through an intersection there, looks like he ran a red light. All right, well, let's try to go to Ames Meyer in Chopper 5. Ames, help us out here. Where exactly is this unfolding right now? Hi, hi, uh, sorry, here. Hi, Brian. Um, right now he's going uh, north. Uh, I'm sorry, westbound 635. And this is a Dodge Charger, which is a, a performance car. So he's going to be a lot faster than these vehicles. But uh, we are up following, and so is Air One police helicopter. So we're now going westbound on 635 LBJ. We saw this driver get off 635 LBJ eastbound at Plano Road, weave through a neighborhood, now back on the highway, headed westbound. This is a very, very congested stretch of highway, and mm -hmm. you can see this car just blowing by all the other vehicles on the highway here, and we've seen this person weave in and out of traffic here. Okay, and again, we are 
watching a chase, a police chase in Dallas. Police are in pursuit of this car, which uh, has gone through some pretty dangerous situations. You see the car is weaving, uh, going onto the shoulder, going at a much higher rate of speed in the traffic on the highway, uh, which is pretty fast. And uh, we understand this is a Dodge Challenger. We're still trying to figure out exactly why police are chasing this vehicle, but at this point, this driver will not pull over, has put other drivers into some very dangerous situations. The chase continues westbound LEJ, uh, LBJ right now uh, in Dallas. Very high rate of speed here, and you can see this person almost lose control there as they speed down 635 LBJ westbound in North Dallas. Another exit here. Uh, we're going to wait to hear from Ames. Okay, this is Forest Lane. The traffic is slowed down here. The Challenger has stopped trying to figure out exactly how to get around all of this. And there are police right, right behind there. with all of the other drivers right there. So I don't think police can do a whole lot right now. We're going to see Let's them get see out of the car. Here. All right, traffic moving again. And we see these other drivers trying to get out of the way of this. As Southbound on Forest here in North Dallas. So we're back off the highway onto a major thoroughfare. This is Forest, another very, very busy street, especially at this hour of the afternoon as we start to head into that busy rush hour. Coming up here on a major intersection, you see that police officer right there behind him in pursuit. Now, what we're hearing is that this may have started with some type of a robbery call. Uh, it's not exactly clear yet, but that is possibly why police are chasing this car and why that driver will not pull over. This person may be a suspect in a, a violent crime. Uh, and again, we're watching this chase continues. The driver has already been on uh, two different directions of LBJ, now back onto the road, uh, and again, traveling at a very rapid clip, uh, passing a lot of the cars there on the road. Now going southbound on Abrams, by the way. And once again, our chopper shot coming in and out here. So bear with us as we follow this live from Chopper 5. But that that's the car we're following there, that white Dodge Charger traveling at a very high, speed, high rate of speed southbound on Abrams right now. And again, uh, we are watching a possible uh, robbery suspect who is police. Police have been chasing this car for a few minutes now, and they've followed them, this person or this driver uh, onto the highway, off LBJ, onto Forrest, and now onto Abrams. Again, very rapid chase here with police in pursuit. At this point, they have not been able to predict which way this person is going to go. This would be headed in the general direction of Lakewood, White Rock Lake, um, Lake Highlands. That's the part of Dallas we're talking about here, North Dallas. This driver heading southbound on Abrams. Now, this is a very tight shot that we have here from Chopper 5, but we know that police officers are right behind us. Oh, and we've had a collision here. This is on Abrams. Do we have the intersection, guys? And, Do we and know? the driver's oh. getting out. Getting out. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. And that's a very a angry confrontation here with the driver who was just hit. And another person in the other car got out, and they, had, they seemed to have that driver. He hit at that right. intersection. Yes. They're right. restraining him. You have to uh, imagine police are close by. Yeah, the uh, police cars are pulling up at this time, and those are officers right there trying to take him into custody. And uh, I did want to remind our viewers we are on a little bit of a tape delay, although our audio is live. And uh, now you can see a uh, police officer is uh, on top of the suspect. And the that person who's on the ground. probably going about 60, so, 60 miles an hour or so when, uh, when he collided into those cars at the intersection. And if you can see, uh, as Matt overhead there in HD, just by that van there looks like a, a child, oh. from what I can tell, being embraced by one of the people who got out of that van. You see him just on the left side of the van there. Uh, that woman, uh, obviously very emotional, and immediately after the crash ran over to the driver's side uh, door of that, uh, that white car that police had been, had been chasing uh, this afternoon. Again, as Marie told us, this started with a robbery of someone uh, near Haskell and R.L. Thornton. Right, it was a robbery where the police obviously were able to catch up with the suspect or his charger, the white Dodge Charger that we've watched this afternoon. And this chase took all the way up in the Greenville area. We went north on Greenville, then he circled around LBJ in the Lake Highlands neighborhood. And Matt, if you can tell us, I know he was coming south on Greenville. Where is this intersection right here? I believe we may be at uh, Northwest Highway at this point, but uh, I have to get that confirmed for you.
Okay, and a tent scene there. That car had to go. We were, we're estimating at least 60 miles an hour when it rear-ended that family in the van, and they jumped right out, very upset. So a tense situation there, but you can see police have this man in custody. And that is a, there is a correction. This is Walnut Hill. I can see the uh, President Hospital okay. just uh, west of us. And from what we could tell in the, immediately after the accident itself, it did not appear that anyone in that van was uh, seriously injured, but it was uh, pretty evident that uh, perhaps there was a good bit of adrenaline going on uh, after the fact, and they will certainly be checked out uh, by the emergency medical uh, folks when they arrive on the scene there once it is, um, once the situation is, is stabilized, if you will. But again, it looked like there were three people in the van including someone who appeared to be younger. I can't mm -hmm. tell exactly mm -hmm. uh, what age, but uh, he was then hugging the woman who jumped out of that um, out of that van immediately after the uh, after the crash. You have to feel for this family, but the good news for those living in this area or traveling through this man has been by DPD. It looked like he was the only person in that Dodge Charger as he was running away, being chased by DPD for uh, allegedly being involved in a robbery again near Haskell and R. L. Thornton. Three people, they're very shaken after being rear-ended by this suspect, but that's what ultimately stopped him and allowed police to catch up with him this afternoon. And they certainly uh, found themselves in the middle of an unpredictable situation there. And as fast as he was going, I would imagine that uh, he pretty much came out of nowhere. Of course, there was nowhere for them to go. And we also saw a, a black SUV that was also involved in this. I don't see where that SUV went or if the person who was inside that, uh, that vehicle was injured uh, in any way. But, of course, this all just happened here, this crash, just a few moments ago. And uh, if you are just joining us, we have been following a high-speed chase that uh, started about 15 minutes ago. Uh, in the uh, Haskell and R.L. Thornton part of, uh, of Dallas, this chase uh, after a white Dodge Charger uh, ended up on the interstate, LBJ, high rate of speed, the uh, suspect blowing through a number of intersections, weaving in and out of cars, and then crashed into several cars here at uh, uh, Walnut, uh, Walnut Hill. Matt, zooming in here up in HD Chopper, giving us a better look not only at the suspect going into that squad car, but you also saw the damage on the white Dodge Charger that the suspect was driving. A few minutes ago, he gave us that shot of a black SUV. If you saw it, that was one of two cars hit. That was the first one, I think, but then the real damage happened to that van that Matt is panning over to there where you see the folks standing outside of it. Some serious damage to the back end of that. Again, we're estimating a speed of 60 miles an hour that the suspect hit at the intersection of Walnut Hill and Greenville. So if you live in that area or someone's coming home to that area this afternoon, you can certainly expect that this scene will probably be closed for investigation for some time. So just keep that in mind. And at this point, we don't know about the... the victim in the original call, uh, this robbery. We're working to get more details for you uh, on that. And at this point, we haven't seen anyone being treated by any emergency medical uh, personnel, which is uh, encouraging uh, that we saw everyone who was in that van uh, at least get out, and they appeared to be 